En quoi tu Please be seated. Veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. L'audience est ouverte. Today, the trial chamber will commence hearing the testimony of the witness Riel Son and the co-prosecutors will be given the floor first. The combined time for the prosecution and the lead co-lawyer for civil parties is one full day. Mr. Wong, could you report the attendance of the parties and the individuals to today's proceedings? Mr. President, for today's proceedings, all parties to this case are present. Les au As for Mr. Nunchi, he is present in the holding cell downstairs. As he requests to have his rights to be present in the courtroom. This waiver has been delivered to the grave. The witness who is to testify today, that is Mr. Real Son and his duty counsel, Mr. Lutch Paris, are present in the courtroom. Thank you. Ils sont tous deux présents dans President, le prétoire. President, thank you. The chamber now decides on the request by the accused Nunchir. The chamber has received the waiver by the accused Nunchir. La chambre a été saisie d'une requête par Nunchir. Dated 17 March 2015, he confirms that you to his cells. That is his. Had back back pain and that he cannot sit for long, and in order to effectively participate in the future hearings, he requests to his right to participate in and be present at the 17 March 2015 hearing. He has been informed by his counsel that about the consequence of the waiver that in no way can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during his trial. Having seen the medical report by the duty doctor for the accused Nunji at the ECCC dated 17 March 2015, who notes that the health condition of Nunji is that he has a constant back pain and that he cannot sit for long. The doctor also recommends that the chamber so grant Nunji his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely. Based on the above information and pursuant to Internal Rule 815 of the ECCC Internal Rules, the chamber grants Nunji's request to follow the proceedings remotely from a holding cell downstairs why audio visual means for today's proceedings as he waves his direct presence in the courtroom. The AV unit is instructed to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunji can participate in and follow today's proceedings remotely. Now the chamber We'll hand the floor to the co-prosecutors to put the questions to this witness. You may proceed. Thank you, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours, and good morning, everyone in and around the courtroom. And good morning, Mr. Witness. Bonjour, Monsieur le témoin. My name is Saint Lien. Je m'appelle Saint Lien. I'm a national deputy co-prosecutor. Je suis le procureur adjoint national. I have some questions for you today. J'aimerais vous poser quelques questions aujourd'hui. In order to seek at your clarification for the benefit of the chamber and the parties. Vos réponses, des précisions qui pourront intéresser la Chambre et les parties. First of all, I'd like to ask some questions in relation to your background. Tout d'abord, j'aimerais vous poser des questions sur votre passé. Then after that, I'll pose some questions in relation to the cooperative. J'aimerais également vous parler des coopératives. And the subsequent subject is on the treatment et of ensuite, Buddhists. Je passerai au traitement accordé aux Bouddhistes. And the fourth subject is related to the event that you were appointed as chief of the hospital in Trump District. 
la tête du And after I conclude uh, my questioning, my colleague will have some for the questions for you on suite, other uh, subject matters. D'autres questions sur d'autres sujets. Let uh, me begin to read my first question. Je vous pose à présent ma première question. In your OCIG interview, that is document A319.1.21, at answer number three, numéro you 3, stated the uh, following, and let me quote, je vous cite, After the coup d'état against the Samdaxiano, Tamok started his Tamok movement to assemble forces. I lived in a village near the one à where Tamok lived then, and voisins, because of that, I joined the movement. movement. End of quote. And at uh, question number six, question and let six, me quote the question. Did you have Je confidence question, in the Khmer Rouge revolution? Si vous en le mouvement Khmer Rouge. Answer. Et vous avez I did have confidence in it initially début, because of my communist ideology. And so I joined the revolution without hesitation. Je me suis engagé dans ce mouvement révolutionnaire sans And hésiter. Quote. Also in the same document in answer Toujours number 200 document, of you said, and I quote, Initially, I loved the revolution, but later on, when I heard of the cultural revolution, I stopped liking it right away. End of quote. Can you tell the chamber what was specifically that caused you to no longer like the revolution? Pour quelle raison précise vous vous êtes mis à détester la révolution? Answer. Réponse. The reason that I no longer had confidence in the revolution. Je n'ai plus eu confiance dans la révolution. Because I heard that such a Cultural revolution, and from what I uh, read the documents while I was young, that that kind of revolution jeune, was uh, done in China, and été, about 30 people killed Chine, as a result. If that were to happen in Cambodia, it meant si I myself. Uh, would be dead. Cela être, être le cas I Cambodge, got je some de education and I would be smashed. Été because éduqué, in such a revolution, that is a cultural revolution, the educated ones would be smashed and they would build a new force. Et en place de and forces. in fact, through my observation, Anka appointed the people vu in the way that I understood. That means the educated people at the village or commune were not appointed to any position. Et que Only the uneducated ones, à la des communes, some des even villages, were illiterate, were appointed to be chief, for instance, the group chiefs or chiefs of a villages. That was the reason groupes, I no longer had confidence in this so-called cultural revolution. revolution culturelle. And that's it, uh, Mr. Prosecutor. Voilà ce que je puis vous dire, Monsieur le coprocureur. Prosecutor, thank you. Le coprocureur, merci. So, what did you mean by your reference to uh, the Cultural Revolution? Can you expand on that? Pourriez-vous nous dire ce que... Ce qui était pour vous la révolution culturelle, à quoi vous vous référiez pour parler de révolution Answer. culturelle It is my understanding Réponse. that once a cultural moi, revolution is initiated, une fois une révolution the intellectuals lancée, or the educated ones who did not join 
the rank or the line of the revolution to the business and whoever opposed on car would also be smashed. Thank you. So it's the prosecutor. Le coprocureur, merci. You also stated that your home village was close to the village where Atamok came from. Se trouvait tout près du village de Tamok. Can you tell the court what was Tamok's home village? And how far was it from your village? Il se situait de votre propre village. Answer. Tamok lived in Prokip, a village commune, while I lived in Preitalei village, Prokipkantu commune. It means we were living in an adjacent commune. Donc dans des communes ou des villages voisins, frontaliers. Question. When was the first time you met Tamok? Question. Quand avez-vous rencontré Tamok pour la première fois? And did you know his family? Et connaissiez-vous sa famille? Answer. Réponse. I met him in. 1975, alors qu'il se baladait dans le marché. As for his family, quant à sa famille, his wife was come and I knew her well. Et je la connaissais bien. As we were not living far from one another, his house was about one kilometer from my house. Sa maison se situait à environ un kilomètre de la mienne. Question: Did you have any special relationship with his wife before you met him? Entreteniez-vous des relations particulières avec sa femme avant de le rencontrer? Answer: No, not at all. Non, pas du tout. Question: You said that you knew. His wife clearly. Can you tell the court how did you become to know her well? Pourriez-vous nous dire pour quelle raison vous la connaissez si bien? Answer. Réponse. Because he lived in a nearby village. Parce qu'il vivait. However, at that time I did not know what she did. And sometimes we went to get some firewood in the forest and we met one another. Dans la forêt, et nous nous rencontrions là-bas. Thank you, and let me return to your written record of interview with the officer of the CIG again. Avec les co-juges d'instruction. In that, in the document E3/5511. Document E3/5511. At answer number two. Réponse numéro deux. You stated the following. Vous avez dit. And let me quote. Je cite. People said in 1957 or 1958, Kyo Sampan came to meet Tamok. Kyo Sampan était venu voir Tamok. End of quote. Fin de citation. I would like to clarify with you whether it was 1957-58 that Kyo Sampan came to meet Tamok, or 1967 or 68, which is when Kyo Sampan, Hu Jun and Hu Nam fled Phnom Penh to join the resistance. Answer. Avec que cent ans. I cannot recall the year clearly. Je ne me souviens pas très bien de l'année. However, at that time, people throughout the village and the adjacent village 
knew that Kiel and Paul and Tamok made one another. Who knew that Kiel and Paul were one another? Who knew that Kiel and Paul were one another? Who knew that Kiel and Paul were one another? Who knew that Kiel and Paul were one another? Who knew that Kiel and Paul were one another? Prosecutor, who exactly told you Question. that Kiel Sampon had Qui come to meet the Tamok? Who told you exactly that Kiel Sampon had come to meet the Tamok? I cannot tell you Réponse. who exactly, but je everybody at the time said uh, the same thing, Mais je me souviens and I did not know who actually chose. was the first one that knew about the. This matter. Question. Question. Did you know the reason why Kiss and Pawn came to meet at the mock at the time? Savez-vous pour quelle raison Kiss and Pawn est venu voir Tamak à cette époque? Answer. No, not at that time. Non. Neither the villagers nor I knew the reason for the meeting. Personne ne savait pourquoi il y avait eu cette rencontre. I did not know which position Tamok held or which position Kiel Asampon held. Je ne savais pas quelle fonction occupait Tamok. Je ne savais, je ne connaissais pas non plus les fonctions de Kiel Asampon à l'époque. Question. Question. Did you personally? Ever see Kiel Sampon in Trampa district or in Takeo province? Dans la province de Takeo. And if so, when and where? Pourriez-vous nous dire où et quand? Answer. Réponse. To my knowledge, I met him once. However, I did not meet him face to face. At that time, I was building a dam at Kpop Trop Bay, and the come that is the Tamok's wife was carrying some stuff, and I had a bicycle near the dam, so I helped her in carrying the the rice cake. Was she still carried some other cake, rice cake on her head? Sur sa tête. And we reach Norie village, which is now called Stomhe village. There were plenty of bamboo trees there, and when we reached that location, she told me to drop off the rice cake. Elle m'a demandé de lui redonner les gâteaux de riz. And she told me that person was Kiel Sampon. Il m'a dit qu'il s'agissait de Kiel Sampon. I I had a quick look at him, and that was the first. That was the the only encounter that I had with Kiel Sampon, and I knew him because the most wife told me so. Je l'ai reconnu parce que la femme de Tamok m'a dit qu'il s'agissait de Kiel Sampon. Prosecutor, thank you, and let now let me move to another subject that is in relation to cooperatives. Le coproducteur, j'aimerais vous parler des coopératives. In your OCIJ interview, dans votre procès verbal d'audition, the last document is three slash five five one one and answer number three. Réponse numéro trois. You stated the following, and let me quote. Vous avez dit, je vous cite. After 1975, the cooperative was formed, and many people died at that time. Et beaucoup d'habitants sont morts à l'époque. And below that, a little bit further, you said we did not have enough food to eat and enough clothes to wear. Nous n'avions pas suffisamment de nourriture ni de vêtements. Fin de citation. Can you tell the court when were cooperatives implemented in your commune? That is in the Bentum June. Answer. I forget the date. Réponse. J'ai oublié. However, les dates. Cooperatives were established, and once they were established, it was the time that. 
our cooking utilities, our rice product, our ustensiles de cuisine, ah, to be put for common use at the cooperatives. Mis en commun dans ces coopératives. Question. Were the cooperatives immediately Question. formed after the, the country fell in 1975, in April 1975, or was it formed about the late 1975? Answer. Réponse. Cooperatives were established uh, toward the end of Les 1975. And as for uh, District 105, Pour ce qui est du district in my uh, commune, the cooperative was first uh, formed. And then, after that, other cooperative, cooperatives were established in other communes within Ensuite, District 105. Question. Why did you say that many people died Question. after the cooperatives were formed? Que beaucoup de personnes sont mortes après la création des coopératives? Answer. After the cooperatives were established, Réponse. people après la mise en place kept des disappearing. Les gens se sont mis à At night time, people, there were people who would come to call those people to go, and they Des disappeared, gens les chercher, et ensuite, including my, my uncle. My uncle Je complained about the oncle. cooperative, oncle, and one night, he disappeared, lui, and he never disparu. returned. Jamais revenu. Prosecutor, uh, thank you for your response in relation uh, to your our uncle. Merci beaucoup. Merci and pour votre réponse. I will have more votre questions uh, for on the issue of your uncle later on. Vous reparlez de votre oncle un peu plus tard, si vous le voulez bien. How did the implementation of cooperatives affect the supply of food that was available de for people la to eat? Question des coopératives sur la nourriture, les rations alimentaires. Answer. Initially, when the cooperative Réponse. was established, départ, I was happy as uh, we place, would have a common content. meal. Je me so, for those who lacked. Food would be able to eat. However, later on, Mais par la suite, for, and let me give you, you an example. In my family, exemple. we uh, famille, grew through rice patch or uh, through plots of land for cucumber. And for nous the entire village, they could only uh, plant it rice for three lengths of plot. So if that happened, the, the rice yield was not uh, sufficient for the people Mais in the cooperative. The and, they, and then some people started to complain about the lack of food. So for that reason, I believe that uh, the cooperative was not that good for the voilà people. Je pense que la pas une si bonne chose que cela pour les Question. In regards to the lack of sufficient food, you also made the following statement in answer three of your interview uh, with the OCIJ, that is the same document, E3 slash 5511, and uh, let me quote. If someone complained si about the lack of food and the complaint was overheard, si they plainte, were invited to go out at night time and uh, never returned. Do you remember any people who disappeared after complaining about the lack of food in the cooperative? Answer. Réponse. Most of the people 
uh, did complain, but they did not uh, do it uh, publicly. Mais ils ne le pas not ouvertement. like in the case of my uncle, who ils did it openly, that he, he stated that the cooperative was public, not good, and then he disappeared. La et alors il a disparu. Thank you, Mr. So Prosecutor and uh, Mr. Uh, President. Le for merci. my uh, next line Monsieur of question, questions, I would like to seek your leave to provide a document to the witness. The document is E3 slash 4108, which is a report from Pok Trobay Commune. C'est un rapport de la commune de Pok Trobay. And I seek your leave, Mr. President. Si vous me permettez, Monsieur le Président, yes, you may le Président, proceed. je vous en prie. Co-prosecutor, uh, Mr. Witness, the document that you have in your hand is a le report from Pope Trobay Commune dated 8 May 1977. De and it was signed by a cadre named Chum. It identified two former lunar soldiers, a corporal and a un captain, caporal et un capitaine, ancien soldat de Lolnol, who sont had criticized the revolution and complained about the lack of food. One was reported as saying, let me quote, what dit, is the use of doing cite, socialist revolution à quoi bon when faire there la is la no alors que, euh, And of quote. Pas de nourriture, citation. And the other had complained that Et personne, the people did not get enough to eat even du fait qu avait pas de where there is pour plenty les of food alors même in y avait the plein house. De dans les entrepôts. They could eat at their own pleasure in that village, but for us, we did not have anything to eat. Dans ce village, mais les rien à and my question to you is uh, the following. Did you know a Khmer Rouge leader from Kpop Trobai commune named Chom? Uh, and Rouge, appelé Cham, de la and was Chom related to Tamok? Et était -il lié à Tramok, uh, Tamok? Answer: Yes, I know Tacham. Réponse: Oui, je connaissais Tacham. Tacham was the uh, chief of Pop Trabai commune, and he was the blood brother, younger blood brother of Tamok. Et c'était un frère uh, biologique de Tamok. Jeune frère de Tamok. Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Witness. Le procureur. Merci, Monsieur le témoin. Now, going back again to answer three of your interviews under A3 slash 5511, you stated that, and I quote, je vous cite, my uncle Long Neck was accused of betraying Anka. He was called doubt and disappeared. Alors, il a été convoqué et a simplement disparu. Uh, Mr. Witness, uh, could témoin, you elaborate the reason why uh, he was arrested? Raison, votre oncle a été arrêté? Answer, when he was arrested, as I told you earlier, he complained uh, about the corporate and he said that um, in the future it will become uh, a communist, uh, a real communist, and he will not uh, willing to be part of it. Co-prosecutor, thank you. Did you know who came and called him out? And who ordered that person to call him out? Answer. No, I didn't know about that because I was far away from him and it happened at night. I, I've asked his wife and children, but they could not tell me who came to call uh, him out because it happened at night. 
co-prosecutor. Since he was called out uh, until uh, the prison time, have you ever met him again? L'avez-vous jamais revu depuis? Answer. Since he was called out, Réponse. he disappeared and I have never met him. We celebrated a ritual a cer ceremony for him uh, a few times already. Co-prosecutor, thank you. Mr. Witness, can you indicate for the court uh, before and during the DK regime, uh, what was he doing uh, for a living? Uh, I'm talking about your uncle. Answer. Before the decay regime, my uncle was a farmer, a rice farmer, and he did some uh, plantation to earn his living. Co-prosecutor, uh, could you indicate or elaborate a bit further what he did during the K regime, or was he just a, a simple villager? Answer, he was a simple villager. Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Witness. Now I would like to come to um, 1975-1976, when you were assigned as a staff at Trump Cop Hospital. You said um, as the following in answer number four of your interview uh, under E3 slash five five eleven, and I quote. I did not live together with my family. Je pas I was avec sent ma to work in a craft a unit. Dans des my children were sent to other places Mes to tend cattle, while my wife lived in the cooperative. Ma femme, elle au sein du I could ask for leave to see my wife, le droit de but la it could not be done often. Uh, some people asked for Liu to visit their family, but Liu was refused if they secretly visited their family and the visits were discovered, they disappeared. And of course, my question for you is as the following. When was it? In relation to 17 April 1975, that your family was separated and you were no longer allowed to live with your, your wife and your children. Answer, so my family members were separated since the creation of the cooperative and we always been separated since then. Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Witness. In relation to this, was there any cadre in your commune or your district who explained the reasons why Anka will not allow people to live freely? Uh, with your family, your children, or uh, uh, they uh, will not allow any visit at your uh, freedom? Was there any explanation or announcement like this? Answer. No, no one has ever explained me about this. Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Witness. And talking about 
freedom of meeting or uh, visiting your family members. You said that you can ask for leave to visit your family member, but you could not do that very often. And some other people ask for a permission to visit, but his request was refused. If they try secretly to, to visit and um, if it was discovered, he, he or she will be disappeared will uh, disappear. Uh, can you elaborate a bit further on this? Answer. I heard this from the unit chief saying that if anyone who went to visit family member without any permission, uh, he or she will be in trouble and uh, the person may disappear. Question, who was your unit chief? Answer, my unit chief was Mon, he is dead now. Question. Question. Was he the one who made an order? Was it in general in your cooperative? Uh, was it so strict for family visits like the one you have just uh, Told the Answer. In fact, I don't know uh, for sure, but uh, at the meetings, he announced uh, the same as I have just uh, told you a while ago. Prosecutor, now talking about your wife. Um, she was assigned to a different uh, cooperative. Which cooperative was she sent to? De votre femme, à quelle coopérative la Answer. She was assigned and sent to Tasun Cooperative in the same Tropean Tom Chung village. Dans le même village de Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Witness. At each time when you met with your wife, did, did she tell you anything about a living condition and food ration at her cooperative? Answer, yes, she did. Uh, her cooperative, in her cooperative, she was assigned to do uh, the cooking at the kitchen, de and de um, there was very limited uh, food and vegetable, and people complained about uh, food rations. Question. Question. Did she tell you that the village villager in her commune in her cooperative have enough to to it vous a-t-elle dit que les gens avaient suffisamment Answer. à manger dans la commune et dans la coopérative She told me that people did not have enough uh, to eat. People would eat rice cruel and the soup was very little for everyone. Uh, everyone would receive only a small bowl of soup per meal. Co prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Witness. Did uh, she tell you any difficulty in or at her cooperative? President, uh, hold on, witness. Le président, veuillez attendre, Monsieur le témoin. Answer. She told me that it was very Réponse. difficult at her cooperative, but. Uh, all she, did, uh, she needs to do is to try to live better than die, than to die. 
Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Witness. Now I would like to move on to another topic. And this is about the treatment of Buddhists. In your OCIJ interview, and the uh, document E319.1.2, at answers number 45 to 48, you described how near the beginning of the Khmer Rouge regime you witnessed about 100 monks who were defrocked at Wat Ong Roka Pagoda. First, can you tell us where Ong Roka Pagoda was located in relation to uh, your home village? Answer, Angroka Pagoda was about two kilometers away from my village, and um, I would take uh, a road from Angtasam to Angroka, and the distance was probably eight kilometers away. Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Witness. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le After 17 April 1975, how often did you go to or by the Angroka Pagoda? À quelle fréquence vous rendiez-vous à la Pagoda? No, I didn't go Réponse. there very often. Je n'y allais pas souvent. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Co witness. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le témoin. And can you please tell the court what you witnessed at the pagoda in terms of the defrocking of 100 monks at uh, that Angroka pagoda? Answer. On that day, I Réponse. saw a jeep car transporting uh, black uniform and entered into the pagoda. pagoda. There were a hundred monks or more there, and I took food and arms to offer to the monk, but there were a few people few villagers who offer meals and alms to the monks. And then uh, the car arrived with a load of uh, black uniform, and um, the uniform were unloaded from the car, and uh, they started defrocking the monks. Question. On that day, were Question. all the hundred monks defrocked? A-t-on défroqué l'ensemble des cent moines? Answer. No, I didn't witness the defrocking because I left the pagoda. But later, the former monks who were from the vicinity or the nearby nearby village uh, were wearing. Uh, were all wearing black uniforms. Par la suite, portaient des vêtements ou des uniformes de couleur noire. Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Witness. Accusation, Monsieur le témoin, merci. You also stated in answer 49 of that same OCIJ interview that, and I quote, I saw the Khmer Rouge demolish the sculptures and temples, and they removed the smaller Buddhist statue from the pagoda and throw them into the water and buried them." And of quote. My question is as follows. Who were the Khmer Rouge cadres? who you saw demolishing 
or throwing Qui away Buddhist sculpture and statues? Answer. De I don't know those Khmer Rouge cadres, but there were about Réponse. 10 Je or 20 cadres, uh, people, some of them demolishing the sculpture in the temple, other would remove uh, Buddha shrine and uh, thrown them into the water and the small Buddha uh, shrine and uh, they buried them in, uh, in the ground. And then I heard uh, the monks were defrocked. Et les ont été Prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Witness. And in your answer 50 of the same OCA IG interview under E319.1.21, you testify as follows, and I quote, Ta H, who was the head of the monks, at the pagoda, protested against the Khmer Rouge orders. He beat the drum to call the people to protest against the Khmer Rouge, but no one there come. The Khmer Rouge click only beat him two or three times with a club. End of quote. And my question for you is as follow. Did you personally witness the head monk of Ang Roka Pagoda be beaten with a club by the Khmer Rouge forces? Or is this something you were told? Answer. Talking about the beating of the head of the monks, I didn't witness it, but I Je heard from other people, and later I heard that he was defrocked. Par he was beaten for beating the drum to call people to protest against the Khmer Rouge. Co-prosecutor, uh, could you tell the court who told you about this incident? À la chambre, qui uh, uh, President, uh, witness, uh, please hold President, on until the microphone is activated. Que le microphone soit avant de Answer. Réponse. No, I don't know. Je uh, rien. I don't remember Je the person pas. who told me uh, this story. Co-prosecutor, Co based on what you have just uh, told the court on the date that um, the head of Mang was beating um, and uh, defrocking. Was, it, uh, was the two in, were the two incidents happened at the same day, in the same day, or different days? Answer, those incidents happened in the same day. Cela a eu lieu le même jour. Question. Question. Was it uh, at the same time the incident happened, um, uh, the beating and the defrocking was at the same time or were at the same time or a little different in time? Est-ce que ces deux événements ont été concomitants ou alors est-ce qu'ils ont été espacés dans le temps, dans la même journée At the same time, when the, moment, when the monks were defrocked. Au même moment où les moines étaient défroqués. Question. How long have you known Taek? Have you ever been to Angroka Pagoda for praying? Answer. I know him for a long time and I went to that pagoda very often to uh, celebrate um, uh, uh, ceremonies over there.
à l'occasion de cérémonie. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Witness. Co-procureur, je vous remercie. And now I would like to move on to another topic. In particular, uh, your role as the deputy chief of Tram Cock District Hospital. Que vous avez joué en tant que chef And I want de chef to now de turn to the period you work at a hosp hospital in Tram Cock District. In answer 14 of your OCIG interview under E3 stroke 5511, you said that you were assigned to be a deputy chief of the hospital in 1976 by Ta and of quote. And my question for you is as follows. Who were Ta Chim and Ta Kit? Answer. Ta Chim and Ta Kit were in the uh, were in the district uh, committee. Both Tachim of them are uh, siblings. Du du Ils Was the hospital at which you were assigned to work the Question. district hospital for Tramka district? Au sein duquel vous travaillez. Answer. Yes, it was the hospital for uh, District 105, um, also known as Tramcock District. Co prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Witness. Do you know why Tachim and Tekut assigned you to work at this hospital? Nommé directeur adjoint de cet hôpital. Answer. They assigned me to work Réponse. at this hospital because I uh, knew how to do the injection and how to uh, give prescription uh, for people to use medicine. That's why I was assigned as a deputy of the hospital, de the deputy chief, correction by interpreter. Prosecutor, in your OCIG interview, E3 stroke 5511, at answer 14, and I quote, you said, I was sent to work in the hospital by Takit and Tachim because I was able to provide some treatments to my family, end of quote. Is this uh, your correct uh, statement to the OCIJ? Witness, yes, this is correct. Prosecutor, thank you, witness. Accusation. Um, had you ever had any medical training before 1926, before you were assigned as a deputy avant chief for that hospital? Avant que vous ne soyez nommé directeur adjoint de Answer, no, I didn't receive any training. Réponse, no. Co-prosecutor, thank you, witness. But now I would like you to locate uh, the hospital where it was uh, located in what village, commune, was the hospital located at or near a pagoda called Wat Tropenkol? Answer, the District 105 hospital located at uh, Wat Trapankol, it was in Trapankswai village of uh, Trapank Thom Chung commune. Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. Witness. Was the Tram Cock District Hospital also known as Hospital 22 or 
um, M22 ou alors M22. Answer. Réponse. The hospital of district 105 and hospital 22 were two different hospitals. Hospital 22 was um, for the uh, zone army uh, hospital. Yeah, this question. Can you tell the court how many staff were there at your hospital? Question. Combien de personnes travaillaient dans votre hôpital? Pourriez-vous nous le dire? Answer. There were more than 90 staff, uh, both uh, male and uh, female, and including those who were uh, doing the cooking and transporting um, equipment and material. Co-prosecutor, you were a deputy chief of that hospital, and who was the chief at that time? Answer. The chief of uh, District 105 Hospital, um, de de but district the first, 105, the first chief was uh, female mate, and then uh, female ja, and then uh, Neri Nien was uh, the, the, the last chief. And, uh, we had three chiefs in a row. Nous avons eu trois chefs qui se sont succédés. Do you have any idea why only Accusation. women were assigned as the chief for that on hospital? Ne demandait qu'à des femmes d'assumer le rôle de chef And, uh, de l'hôpital. Réponse. Through my understanding, the women were appointed as chiefs of the hospital as they were party members. Elles étaient membres du parti. They were all uh, party members, the three of them. Les trois membres du parti. C'est pour cela qu'on les a nommés. But uh, let me stress, Mais they did not come at the same time. Je insiste. Uh, they came. One came to replace temps. another, as elles one was uh, the chief for only four or five months and was replaced. Remplacer les unes Question les autres. From what Première you just stated. Only a party member was appointed as chief of the hospital, is that correct? Answer, yes. Only a party member would be appointed as chief of a hospital. Question. Est-ce que les directeurs ou directrices de l'hôpital avaient eu une formation médicale, avaient les compétences requises Les trois femmes qui étaient au chef de l'hôpital n'avaient aucune idée de ce qu'était la médecine. And as for Neri Maid, she did not even know how to read. Maid ne savait même pas écrire, euh, lire, pardon. Thank you. And I'd like to ask you about the hospital at the sector level, that is for sector 13, and a hospital at the zone level for the soft white zone. Were there such hospitals at the sector and zone level? Answer. There was a sector hospital. It was called Tropean Ronib. L'hôpital de Tropean Ronib. And the zone hospital was at Angtasam. Se trouvait à Angtasam. At Dam Chimpok. Dam Chimpok. Thank you. Questioned. 
Did any Question. of Tamarok's Merci. children or siblings have a position a position at a district sector or zone hospital? If so, please uh, provide the details. Sector or de la zone, pourriez-vous nous le dire, s'il vous plaît? Answer. Réponse. As for uh, hospitals at the district, at the sector, or at the zone level. Les hôpitaux au niveau du district There de la was zone, a, a younger female, secteur, younger sister of a Tamok named Ye Kun, who worked at the zone hospital. De Tamok, Kun, elle travaillait elle pour. Uh, Question: How did you know about that? De la zone. Answer: That hospital Question, was near on the South Market, and. When I referred the patients to the hospital, I could refer them either to the sector hospital or to the zone hospital in case of a seriousness of the illness. That's why I knew her. En fonction de la gravité de la maladie, étant donné que je la connaissais. Question: Did the Tamok younger sister? Have a medical expertise or received any medical training? President, Mr. Witness, please observe the microphone. S'il vous plaît, Monsieur le Témoin, faites attention au micro. Witness. To my knowledge, she was not that skillful in the medical field. But there were people dealing with the technical issues in that hospital. Il y avait des membres du personnel qui pouvaient s'occuper des questions techniques dans cet hôpital. Prosecutor, thank you. Let me go back to your OCIG interview. That is document E3 slash 5511. In answer 14, you described receiving some training after you were appointed to work at the hospital in 1976. And you also stated that your first training lasted three months. And that you trained at the sector or zone hospital by a person named Sei. And that you were trained with human anatomy. L'on vous enseignait notamment l'anatomie. Can you tell us what months in 1976 you had these three months of training? President Witness, please wait and Council Coupé, you have the floor. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, Merci, I think in this particular case, the prosecution should be um, including the second part of the sentence, which says there's a six month training. It is, if, it is within the same sentence. Um, first training mois, lasted three months, and the second one lasted six on months. So, d'une formation de trois mois, d'une deuxième formation qui a duré six mois. Why Je pense que we are limiting ourselves to this three months training? I don't know why we are limiting ourselves to this three months training. Prosecutor, Mr. President, allow me to respond. I have some more questions on the issue of the six-month training. Let me now focus on the three months of training, and after that, I will move on to the six months of training. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, please respond Témoin, to the last question put to you by the Deputy National Co-Prosecutor, if you can recall it. Si vous vous en if bien not, sûr. you can ask the, si to be, the question to be put again posée, to you. Soit posée à nouveau. Prosecutor, my question to you Le is uh, the following. In what month in 1976 did you receive the three-man oh, training? Pendant quel mois de l'année 1976 vous avez suivi Answer. la première formation I cannot recall uh, the month or the year Je of that training, 
However, I can recall de... that that was the first training, medical training, and it lasted for three months. C'était la première months. formation que j'avais suivie et qu'elle a duré trois mois. Question. And can you recall when Question. you concluded uh, that the training? Et I mean, in uh, what month? Du mois pendant and, uh, du mois de la fin de votre no, formation. I can I recall it? Réponse. In fact, non, the three-man uh, training was not uh, consecutive. It was on Cette and off. And if you count the actual mois, days of training, uh, it was uh, roughly around uh, two weeks only. Question. Uh, on the des semaines. Par exemple, deux semaines de formation. Et puis, quand vous avez commencé à travailler à ce hôpital district hospital? Question. Pourriez-vous nous dire quel était votre travail au hôpital du district? Je ne peux pas me rappeler le mois. Mais, en tout cas, c'était vers le début de 1976. Je ne me souviens pas du mois, mais je me souviens que c'était en... À la fin de 1976 ou début 1977. Question. I also have another question on this uh, training. And you stated that you were trained with the German vous anatomy. Que vous a What uh, do you mean by mine. that? Que voulez-vous dire par là? Answer. As for the uh, training with uh, German anatomy. La formation We qui portait sur l'anatomie nous a permis d'étudier le squelette We would study the internal organs, nous avons étudié également les organes the liver internes, and other organs. le foie notamment. So in in short, we studied everything about the en fait, German anatomy inside résumer, and outside. Nous avons étudié tout ce qui concernait l'anatomie, aussi bien interne qu'externe. Question. You also stated that you later Question. had additional training that lasted as uh, much as six months. Suite, une When qui a duré and where did the second mois. training session take place? Pouvez-vous nous dire quand et où cette deuxième formation a eu lieu? Answer. Réponse. For the uh, second training session, it was held at the sector hospital a eu lieu à at Trampéang Ronib. <coughs> and question, and uh, when did you receive question. that training? Et quand a-t-elle eu lieu, s'il vous plaît? Answer. It was in Réponse. late 1977. Fin 1977. President. Le président. It is now convenient to take a short break. We Nous will take a break now and return at 10:30. And court officer, please assist the witness during the break. S'il vous plaît, vous occupez du témoin pendant la pause. Have him return with his duty counsel to the courtroom at 10:30. Because he's now in recess. Suspension de l'audience.